What's up everybody? What's going on here is we are trying to remove this front brace off the bed that's rusted out. We're gonna replace that. So I went around and found all the spot welds that hold it on. I took my mini file sander. I've ground those down quite a bit. I'm going around now and tapping to, to see if they've broken loose or if they need a little more grinding or a little more encouragement. We're gonna get this brace off of here so we can replace it. I've got one on order and it should be coming in any day, but we might as well just go ahead and take this off out of our way in case there's some dents under it that we wanna hammer out on the bed floor. You could also drill these spot welds out if you wanted to. I kind of prefer my little belt grinder. It works really well. An air chisel would have sped this up a little bit, but mine kind of gave up on me. So we went this route. I'm starting to look for dents and go around and see if I can't tap some of them out, but I'm having a hard time seeing with all the dirt on here. So it took me a minute to, to figure out something, but this is what I came up with. I got out my buffer and put a four inch wire wheel on this thing, and it really did a good job. It cleaned off the dirt quite well, left a little bit of a shine to the surface, and then I was able to see the dents a lot better. After I worked this bed for a little while, I came up with another idea. I ended up putting a piece of sticky sandpaper on my dolly on the flat side. It fit perfectly between the ribs on the bed. So I was able to sand with it back and forth and it would show me the high spots and then I would tap them down. So the dolly was already in my hand, it had sandpaper on it. It just seemed to work real well. So around the bed we go. We got the bed flipped over and I started marking some of the dents I couldn't get to because of the cross braces underneath. And I decided to pull those out with a stud welder. Time to get the underside of everything cleaned up. I sprayed some oven cleaner on this. Oven cleaner works real good for heavy grease. After that, I followed it up with some purple power with the red scotch bright to get everything scuffed down. And that way, it's actually pretty close to ready for paint once it's dry. I'll also go around with a sandblaster later and hit any surface rust that I see. It's time to compare our new brace to our old brace, make sure they're the same, and make sure I put the new one in exactly how the old one was. The only discerning factor I can find is the inside brace where the bolts go through is well gone to one side of the brace and not the other. So I'm gonna make sure I copy the original, put it back in the same orientation, and get it ready to weld in. Next, I'll line up the brace, making sure the bolt holes are centered over the holes in the bed floor. Then I'll mark the new brace where the factory spot welds were on the old one so that I can drill it out and weld it back like it was. Now I transfer the marks to the other side of the brace because it'll be easier to drill on that side. After I drill the pilot holes, I go back and step it out to the appropriate size to match the factory spot weld. Now it's time to go over everything, get it cleaned up, nice and smooth, so the surfaces will make good contact when it's time to weld it. Everything gets scuffed with a red scotch bright and then cleaned up with some solvent. Here's something you gotta really watch out for. Right there. When they weld these, they'll get these pieces of metal sticking up when you scotch bright. That'll slice the crap out of you. Be careful. I'll apply a couple of coats of weld through primer on this and let it dry good. Then we'll flip it over and start welding.
a little more cleanup from the drilling and it's gonna be ready to weld in. I'll use the bolt holes as a reference. I'll look through it visually and see that it's centered as well as putting a bolt in. And once I'm sure of the position, I'll clamp it in place and start welding. I'll look at the other side to make sure there's some penetration of the weld. Once I'm sure of everything, we just work our way around clamping and welding as we go. I'm just gonna knock the top off of these welds, scotch brite everything, clean it up good, put a little bit of edge primer on top of it just to keep it from rusting. Plan on using bed liner material under this so I don't have to get too crazy about grinding these welds down and trying to make it look factory or anything. Like I said, it's just gonna get covered with bed liner. All right, it's in. That'll work for now. Now that that brace is welded on, it's time to strip the top of this thing another day.